Hi. In this uh, section, I want to get us warmed up to think about life cycles. Um, the uh, as a general rule, if we look back over the the, the history of man. Uh, for, for three and a half million years, there really wasn't a lot of change going on. So uh, we just did what we did. Creatures of habit, it was all good. Uh, but, you know, as, 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 as pace picked up, uh, new things came along and it took a while for for the population to adopt it. So Everett Rogers was the first fellow back in 1962 to publish something on studies of, of uh, innovation and, and how it, it moved particularly through agriculture. Uh, but since then, we've looked at adoption curves for all kinds of things. Uh, ideas uh, called memes can have a life cycle. Uh, there can be uh, social conventions that have life cycles. Uh, obviously, when it comes to industry, uh, there are technologies that come along, for example, VHS recorders start off in 1976, and I think the last studio that actually made a VHS tape was in 2006, because a different technology came along and made it possible and then made it uh, obsolete. So people that, that live and work with these, these technologies or big process changes have to adapt or die in a sense. Uh, so at any rate, as a general rule, uh, when, a, when something comes along, it kind of takes a generation to uh, grow up with the new thing. Uh, biblically, Moses wandered in the desert with, uh, with, uh, with his people who had been raised in, as slaves in captivity to create another generation that was used to trying to survive on their own before they then uh, went to the promised land. Uh, when bacteria was discovered and it found out that hand washing would, would lower the risk of, of infections and hospitals and so forth, it took a whole generation. The existing doctors didn't want to believe it, do it, or really ma make it a habit. The next generation had to grow up with it. Uh, sometimes we look at, at social conventions. Uh, they can lo last longer. I mean, in retrospect, we look at, at our country, the United States, and it took 88 years to say, let's free the slaves, and there are 100 years to say, well, maybe people of color would like equal civil rights. Uh, it took a uh, hundred and 44 years, I guess from 1789 to 1921, before women were given the right to vote. Sometimes when you find a, a, a social convention is tied up with economics and politics, special interest groups get very powerful, own Congress, and that, in a sense, the vested groups will keep change from happening uh, as fast as it might. Uh, so there it is. Uh, but I will say that from a distribution viewpoint, uh, some big changes that have happened the last uh, 25 plus years as far as supply chain, uh, whole new business models swept through uh, drug wholesale and, and hospital supply. Um, and the people that adapted did very well, but 80% didn't. And so there was massive consolidation. So as we look at these life cycles, we also can appreciate that they, they don't all have the same ending. Sometimes the life cycle can sort of level off and, and be pretty stable uh, and just kind of grow with the population. Sometimes a new technology comes in and wipes out an old way of doing business completely. Uh, not that there isn't a new capacity to replace, uh, you know, the, the horseless carriage obviously repl replaced uh, a horse transportation. Um, and Teamsters used to actually run teams of horses as opposed to driving trucks. Uh, but we still need a driver to, to, to get the stuff around. So we'll look at different uh, uh, aspects of our life cycle thinking in this, this next section. Thank you.